guys, so I thought I would do a little video this evening of something very, very exciting. I actually tried to film this already, but my camera kind of went a bit wrong. So second time lucky. I thought tonight I would share with you, hang on, this gorgeous thing. Now this is no ordinary bag of Lush products. This is the bag of Lush products from the Oxford Street Lush in London, where all the exclusives lives that I didn't know about. How did I not know that they did loads of exclusives in Oxford Street? No idea up until recently. So of course I had to go there and of course I had to buy like the whole shop. Well, maybe not quite the whole shop, but I was actually pretty reserved for me. I could have spent a lot more money, but we have to spend other things occasionally other than Lush, only occasionally. So yes, I thought I would make a video to share with you the exclusives that I found because one, they're amazing, two, they smell epic, and three, they're only available in Oxford Street as far as I know, which is kind of annoying because I've got a feeling that some of them are going to become firm favourites, which means I'm going to have to go to London a lot more often. This could be a problem, Lush. Um, but yes, so without further ado, the first item on the list, now this is... Which one is this? This is the Sacred Lotus Bath Bomb. It's kind of like an egg. There we are. It's white on the outside, yellow in the middle, and has these purple kind of petally bits around the outside. I think it's just really pretty. Oh, smells really good. Um, quite looking forward to that one. Now, a lot of the labels, unfortunately, on these didn't come out very well, so I will try and tell you what's in some of the products. But as you might be able to see, this is actually one of the better labels. That one printed all right, but some of them are pretty much blank. So in this we have, let me see, Jasmine Absolute. The first product I read has Jasmine Absolute in it. I love Jasmine. I'm obsessed with Jasmine. You might have guessed I'm a little bit geeky and I kind of like things like vampires and monsters and comic books and things. Well, Jasmine is associated with vampires if you've ever read any of the Anne Rice books, you'll totally know what I'm on about. So anything with jasmine in, I mean, the flowers are beautiful anyway. If you've ever seen jasmine flowers, they're so pretty and I just love the smell. Creature of the night, maybe that's me. So yes, jasmine absolute in this smells brilliant. Um, also in here we have stuff. Citric acid, snowflake lustra. What the heck is snowflake lustra? It's very exciting and foreign and exotic. Um, possibly the white glittery stuff. Um, also in here we have Tonka Absolute. Anyone knows what Tonka Absolute is? Tell me in the comments because I don't know what it is. Um, sounds very exotic again. Also we have in here Cream of Tartar, Cinnamon and some other funky stuff. So yes, that's the first product. So quite looking forward to that one. I just thought it was really pretty, so I had to have one. Um, also in here, you, by the way, before I go any further, you guys will notice I look a little bit different. Yes, the hair is no longer purple. It's also no longer dark. I obviously bleached it. I have mermaid hair because it's green at the bottom, which was kind of semi-intentional. My old purple hair dye faded out green. And I thought I'd try and bleach it to go blonde, but it didn't really work. I'm blonde at the top, um, but I actually really like it. So, you know, I might even go as far as adding a bit more green to it at some point, we'll see. So yes, new hair, very exciting, but it's gone really, really fluffy, which is really annoying. So in this bag, I have the Lullaby Shampoo Bar. Oh, so excited. It's pink, it's girly, it smells amazing, and you can't get it anywhere because I've seen this mentioned before and I've never found it. So very excited where is it hang on it's in the bag somewhere there we are lullaby shampoo bar as i said it's girly it's probably why i like it but it doesn't smell all that like sweet and sickly kind of smell you know some of the bath ones can be quite strong this isn't that strong smelling it is pink there we are it's kind of awesome it smells oh it smells so good mmm I'm not going to eat it, but you could. It smells as if you could. Anyway, don't eat it. Eating Lush, bad idea. Never tastes as good as it smells. Might have once or twice tried. Don't do it. It's a bad plan. So, in here we have, back in the bag, 
Let me see, ground almonds, jojoba oil. No wonder I like it. When I was little, my mum used to go to Crabtree and Evelyn. Sorry, Lush. And they did a whole jojoba scented range, which I loved. I used to sometimes get it in like, the, they did like seashell shaped soaps that were jojoba scented. I used to get them in my Christmas stocking when I was little. I love them. I love jojoba scented things. It just reminds me of my mum and of Christmas and of like, being little, so that's probably why I like this so much. Must admit, I'm like, I really want to use it, but at the same time, I really don't want it to run out. Um, so also in here, we have, as I said, the ground oymen, ground oymens, ground almonds, put your teeth in, jojoba oil, uh, French lavender oil, mm. I think that might be Roman chamomile oil, lavender absolute, neroli oil and just lots of other funky things it smells gorgeous i can't wait to try it i really hope it helps sort out this whole fluffy situation um very excited for that one so that's the lullaby shampoo bar if you get the chance to go to oxford street do check it out because i thoroughly recommend it even though i haven't used it yet <laughs> i still recommend it so next on the list oh this one I have no label on this, so I cannot tell you what it's in it, but it is just awesome. This is the first thing I saw when I walked in the shop, and there is actually a picture of them on my Instagram, which is Pixielicious. Go and have a look. This little beauty is called the Metamorphosis Bath Bomb. Personally, I think it should be called the Death Star Bath Bomb. For those of you that don't know, massive Star Wars geek, um... Death Star from Star Wars. It looks like the Death Star. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it does. It's kind of grey. It's glittery. It has this weird ruching on it, as you can see. I just think it's awesome. And I'm probably going to do another video of this one when I put it in the bath. Because I've got a feeling it might go black. And being of the kind of semi-goth persuasion, black sparkly bath, that needs a video. So, oh, and it smells just... Mm. I don't know what it smells of, kind of spicy, exotic, kind of maybe black currant tea, if I had to put a fruit to it, but it's not all that fruity, it's quite an unusual smelling one, but oh my goodness, it's so pretty, particularly since it's grey, I just think it's really cool, so looking forward to that one, but yes, Metamorphosis Bath Bomb, otherwise known as the Death Star Bath Bomb. Lush, we need more of these please. I don't think they should just be an exclusive. I think we need these in all the shops. But then I could say that about most of these products, to be honest. Um, but it is nice to find someone that does something a bit different. Now then, something else that I found in the Lush in Oxford Street. Now, I didn't know they did these. These are completely new on me. These are bath melts. These were £2 each. They're quite little, but they are based on the Lush perfumes. So, for those of you that don't know, I am obsessed with the Lust perfume. Oh my god, it smells so good. So, I happen to have found this little beauty, which is called the Cloak of Invisibility Bath Bomb. Now, not only am I a massive Star Wars geek, hello, Harry Potter! Oh my god, I am obsessed. I have everything to do with Harry Potter. I have all the films, I have all the books. Completely Harry Potter's bonkers. So... Cloak of Invisibility, for those of you that don't know, was given to Harry Potter by Dumbledore um, for Christmas. I think I've got that right. If I've got that wrong, somebody tell me. I'm pretty sure it was Dumbledore. But the cloak originally belonged to James Potter, which is Harry's dad. And the cloak, when you put it on, turns you invisible and allows you to get up to all kinds of mischief. If you turn me invisible, I'm going to be dead impressed. And I promise you, masses of mischief. However... You probably want to see what this looks like, right? Me stop talking? More, more of the product? Okay, fine. So, tries to open the product without getting it everywhere. Sticky labels, Lush. They're very hard to get off in videos. Ugh. There we are. Right, now, because these are pretty pungent, they're wrapped twice. Very exciting. So, this little beauty is... The Cloak of Invisibility Bath Melt. I'm not going to hold it very long because it's really melty and it's also very glittery. What a surprise, I'm covered in glitter. There we are. Oh, and it smells like the Lust Perfume. Oh, so good. 
Mm, I can't wait to put this in the bath, but at the same time, mm, we need these in like every shop, not just the London one. Because I think I'm going to get a bit obsessed. Just a bit more obsessed, really. Um, so yes, I'm really looking forward to this. It smells amazing. It has in it, oh God, difficult to read label, hang on. It has in it shea butter, fair trade organic cocoa butter, almond, extra virgin coconut oil, almond oil, jasmine, absolute. I'm happy. Um, what else? Hang on. Rosewood oil, ylang ylang oil, and some other stuff that I can't read. But... Trust me, if you get the opportunity, give it a whirl because it smells so good. It really does. And yeah, for two pounds, you can't complain. So also, whilst I was in the bath melt section, well, I couldn't have just one, could I? Let's be honest about this. I found the most sparkly thing of all time. This is just ridiculous. I picked this up with my hands. Not only did I get covered in glitter, my boyfriend got covered in glitter and the girl that I was talking to in Lush that worked there also got covered in glitter. So yeah, glitter warning. This is the Delight bath melt. Again, it's wrapped individually. They're kind of like little bonbons, which I think is really cute. I'm not picking this up because I've got work tomorrow and I'll go in covered in glitter again. But as you can see, it's kind of very, very silver sparkly glittery. Oh. I don't know which perfume this is from, but whichever one it is, I need to find out because, oh my goodness, it smells good. Mmm. Yes, that is very nice. So that's the Silver Delight Sparkly. I think they do a gold one as well. It might be called something slightly different, but it's a similar kind of idea. So in here we have... Shea Butter, Fair Trade Organic Cocoa Butter, Lime Oil... Extra virgin coconut oil, black pepper oil, pipe pine needles. I had a feeling it reminded me of Christmas. It has pine needle, pine needle oil, pine needle oil in it, which, and jojoba oil, oh my goodness, double Christmas. Um, it smells amazing and I absolutely love it and I can't wait to put it in the bath and it smells like Christmas. Who doesn't like things that smell like Christmas and are covered in glitter? I'm not even a big Christmas person and I like it. So, you know, yay. Also, we are far from finished. There are more things in this bag. How often do I need to go to this shop? More often. Right, so, in here we also have, dun da da da. Did I mention that I have, this is in the wrong bag. <laughs> this is part of the Valentine's range. Ugh. But the reason it's in the wrong bag is because I went to Bournemouth Lush. I went to Paul Lush. They did not have this. I went to Oxford Street Lush and what did, actually, what did my boyfriend find? Because I've been looking for this everywhere and going on and on and on about it. Not that I go on and on and on about Lush all the time. Honest. And here we have the best selling thing in the world. This little beauty is the Cupid bath bomb. Oh my goodness. I actually had two of these because just as well, because I got home from London and I was like, I'm having a bath and this is going in it. Oh, it smells like raspberry, rose, jam, sweet gorgeousness. I don't know how else to put it. It just is the best smell. Mm, so good. So yes, this is obviously from the Valentine's range if you find these now, you are doing very, very well. You are very lucky because I couldn't find it anywhere before Valentine's Day, let alone afterwards. So, yes, this one was a case of we went into Oxford Street Lush. I was looking at other things and my partner kind of tapped me on the back and went, turn around. I squeaked quite a lot because I've been looking everywhere for them. They really do smell good. Um, I really, really hope, Lush, that you bring this back next year because it's just divine. And I've only got one left. I need more. But yes, it smells gorgeous. And I just love the shape. I think it's really cute. So I had to share that with you. I do have a few other items from the Valentine's range. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments section below. And I will do a Valentine's Lush, Valentine's Day Lush haul type thing. I was going to do one, but I kind of got really busy and forgot. So if you're still interested and would like to see the Valentine's Day products, please let me know. If not, I'm probably just going to put them in the bath. <laughs> but you know so 
There are a few more things in here. We also have something I'm very, 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 very excited about. This is the Grass Bubble Bar. Oh, I love this smell. It's got bergamot oil in it. It's kind of an unusual smell for Lush. It's not sweet or girly or sickly or... Oh, it just smells like grass. It is the Grass Bubble Bar. This is the first, one of the first things I saw on the second layer because there are three floors in the Oxford Street shop. This thing is just epic. It is the greenest product I've ever seen. I love this colour. I love the smell. I love the little flowers on it. It's just gorgeous. And it smells so good. And I swear that's got to have pine needles in it. One second, I will check. I will try and check. Label problems. Can't read it. Um, oh, I need to have a bath. <laughs> like, right now. <laughs> um... So, in here we have, can't see, spring green luster, bergamot oil, neroli oil, sandalwood oil. So good. Um, it doesn't appear to have pine needles in it, but nonetheless, it smells epic. I can't wait to try this. And also, Lush, Lush, this one, this one, all the stores, please. That and the Death Star one. No, sorry, not the Death Star one. That's my name for it. What's it called? Metamorphosis one. Oh, so good. Yes, we like that quite a lot. Anyway, that is the green grass bubble bar. Looking forward to that. Too much rustling of packets, sorry. That's not quite right. Hang on. There we are. I have to seal them all so they don't all go everywhere. So there are two more things. One of them is the glitteriest thing that Lush sell. Now, I can't tell you what's in it. This is why this label is completely and utterly obliterated. So we're just going to have to look at it. This is called the Golden Slumbers Bath Bomb. And it's just ridiculously glittery. I had to have one. It's also massive. I don't know if you can see, but it is literally just like one gold glitter bath ballistic. I cannot wait. It's also massive. Um... I had to have that. I couldn't resist. I mean, literally, the girl in the shop said, oh, yeah, our glitterous ever, the, like, our product with the most glitter in it ever is that one over there. Gone, sold, done. Give me one. So, I have a feeling my bath might be kind of covered in gold glitter for a while. Sorry, Lyndon. That's my other half. Um, I think he's just accepted that, you know, you're in a relationship with me, you're going to get covered in glitter, like it or not. All my friends get covered in glitter. I get covered in glitter. My guinea pigs get, get covered in glitter. Bless them. You know, come near me, pretty much, you get covered in glitter. It happens. So, last but not least, because most of you will have come across blue, fluffy, no, blue skies and white fluffy clouds and the comforter bubble bar. There is another one in the same kind of style. This is the Super Tramp Bubble Bar. I couldn't resist this because, well, I love the comforter. I love blue skies and white fluffy clouds. So, welcome to Super Tramp. He's green and pink. And in case you had a guest, I love green. He matches my hair. I'm so impressed. And I also kind of like pink. So, he's pretty funky. He's also massive. I mean, like, how many bars are we talking? Like, what, ten? Maybe, well, maybe not quite ten, maybe five. Um, but, ugh. again, quite an unusual smell. I haven't gone for the very girly things, actually. I've gone for the unusual smelling things. But in here, we have a very dodgy label. Let me see. We have, what the heck is pimento berry oil? I have no idea what pimento berries are, but apparently we have pimento berry oil in here. We also have pettigram oil ginger oil, sandalwood, and some other things that I can't read. So, quite a spicy, kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, Morocco kind of, hippie market kind of, oh, just yumminess. Um, so yes, looking forward to him. So that is my haul from the Oxford Street Lush. I hope that you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you do get a chance, go and have a visit. It is well worth it. Like I say, there are three floors, uh, one of them which is the spa floor. 
um the staff are really friendly and really lovely and honestly thank you oxford street lush shop attendants for all your help and for being so lovely because i was quite anxious going in there i'm not great with crowds guys and it was busy so thank you very much for being so lovely and i can't wait to try all of these products and yeah i really hope that you like this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already you know what to do subscribe to my channel below and if you'd like to leave a comment, please do so. I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. Hope you guys are having a fantastic night and I will speak to you all again soon. Take care and bye for now.